so you know about signals. Signals are a very powerful tool inside of Godot that allow nodes to talk to each other. But you may be wondering, how do I create my own signal? What if I want to create a signal with its own parameters? Well, that's what we're going to do in this video, so stay tuned. So the first thing we'll take a look at is inside of our world script. Now do keep in mind, I have created two scenes here, or two nodes, one with an empty script that just extends node, and the other one is just a node 2D. Now, to create a signal, all we need to do is say signal, and then we can rename it to whatever I'd like. I named it emit this amazing signal. And in our node 2D here, or in our scene here, now let me just delete this so you'll see that it still exists. So inside of my world, you will see the emit this amazing signal now. And I can connect it to any node I'd like. So for example, I can connect it to the node. And now here I have this node's uh, this signal connected. Now in my world, to emit a signal, it's not that hard. We just say emit signal and we pass through the function or the name of the signal. So this will make this go off. Now, what do we want to do? Well, I can just print something. So I can print I and I can hit play and see that this works. You will see that on ready, the word hi will be printed. Now, if I close this, now the question is, well, what's another way to connect this? And what if I want to pass through a parameter? Well, another way to connect this first, let's take a look, is we can delete this code, go to our 2D here, and we'll disconnect the signal that we just connected. Now, to connect this, it's not too hard. We can just say uh, function ready. And now we need to connect it by getting access to the node. So we'll get the parent, basically. We will say dot emit this amazing signal. So this is connecting to the signal that we need, right? And then we're going to connect it to a uh, function that we want. In this case, we're going to say connected uh, signal, whatever you'd like. But now, of course, we will need this function because uh, now it says this is not declared in the current scope. So we'll say connected signal and pass through this function, connected single si signal, and we can print something. So we can print high. And if we hit play, you will now see that it prints high just the same. Now, what else what can we do? Well, we can, what if we want to pass through a variable, right? Let's say we want to pass through, pass through a variable called health. Well, I will pass through the health by saying uh, health here. But now here we need to also path, pass through the variable when I emit the signal. Now, of course, here I will also need to pass through the HP or whatever I want, right? Like the actual, you can name it health, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but to test this, I will print the health, and you will see that when I play, it will now print the health from my world, right? So you can see that this can obviously create many different uh, things that you may want to do, many different opportunities. So in this case, I could change the health. I could have a signal that is changed health. Uh, that's actually what the uh, Godot documentation uses as an example. So you can check out their documentation on their website. Uh, but essentially, all they do is have a signal called uh, health changed something like that and they pass through the health every time it gets changed and that's the signal that they connected uh and whatever right and now lastly uh just to kind of verify that you can now see that the emit this signal is also passing through a health and of course if i want to specify something i can specify that it's an integer and now here it'll say health int all right so that's it for this video on signals and how to create customized signals uh, in the next video, that will be a, probably a follow-up of this, we will go over how to create uh, signals that are global. So we'll be able to create a global uh, signal, how to connect a signal from anywhere in any script. So make sure to subscribe to uh, get the notification for that video.